Okay. All clear. Launch stations. Launch stations! Good luck, Colonel. Sky one to skydiver control. Airborne. Roger, Sky one. Replacement Sky 1 approaching rendezvous. Roger, Sky 1. Have begun docking procedure. You've got a great crew there, Captain. It's been a privilege working with you these past weeks. We've enjoyed your company, sir. Hope you have a good furlough. Don't worry. I really plan to let my hair down. Jojo was a man. Is this what you're looking for? It's a great party. Looks like it. What's the time? 4.30. I've got to be up around 7 tomorrow. Hmm. You poor little thing. Four thirty. Five thirty. Six thirty. Hmm. Do you know what you need? Yeah, that's just what I needed. Good morning, sir. Moon base to control. Sighting. 
Area red, 042184. How does it look, Lieutenant? We're awaiting confirmation. Franklin, Joe Franklin, missile technician. No, no, don't tell me, it's uh, uh, Ford, Fraser, Foster, Paul Foster. <laughs> Glad to meet you, Colonel. Now, I knew it had to begin with F. These, uh, these poops are going through the entire alphabet. Everything from Aaron to Zazinski. Yeah. I hear everybody in shadow has to go through it. Right. Will Colonel Paul Foster please report to room 17 on the first floor? I think uh, you're first in line, sir. You're uh, F.O. I'm F.R. See in the fun palace. UFO 428. Speed one and a half million miles per second. Bearing positive. Course 017234 red. Sighting confirmed we have a UFO on positive track. Red alert. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptors, immediate launch. Moon base to control. We have a positive sighting. Get the trajectory termination as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Contracted scarlet fever, mumps, measles, whooping cough, German measles, chicken pox. Yes. Yes? I had measles. Oh. How old were you? Four. Was it five? of sleep, Colonel? Oh, yes. Most of the time. Well, after two weeks here, you'll feel on top of the world. Hey, 
It could be better, Foster. Keep it up, Rowan. Well, we'll soon get rid of that, won't we, Franklin? Course. 017 348 101. Speed. Sol zero, decimal five reducing. Program computers for missile firing sequence. Program complete. Missile firing one eight decimal four. A giggle a nanosecond. <sighs> Can't wait to leave. Some work out. Yeah. And this is only the first day. Come on, gentlemen. One of you into the bath. Oh. That's just what I can do with. And I'm first. O before R. Right. You reckon you're ready for this? It's a sonar bath.
for you, sir. All right, go ahead, Lieutenant. We have the UFO termination fix. Southern England, grid reference 4706. Yes, ground radar gave us the same information, Lieutenant. How badly was it damaged? Well, the interceptor scored a probable hit, but the UFO seemed to maintain its course. Listen, Lieutenant, I want moon base maintained on a full red alert. If that UFO breaks cover and lifts off, I want it destroyed. Now keep me informed. Roger and out. Are the mobiles moving in? Yes, sir. Nothing of real significance here, Alec. The research center is less than 15 miles away. I doubt if the aliens would travel a billion miles to visit a glorified health farm, even if it is run by shadow. Didn't Paul Foster check in there this morning? Colonel Foster? Yes. Get me Dr. Fraser to that research center. Yes, sir. Radio contact negative, sir. Well, keep trying. Yes, sir. You'd better get over there, Alec. Fast. Right. Just landed. I couldn't see any activity around the house. Now listen, Alec. The men from the mobiles have the place completely surrounded. Well, hold them back. I'll move in with the helicopter crew. There's less chance of being spotted. Out. Okay, let's go. You wait here. Come with me. You wait there. Steer 128, maintain present speed. 128 it is, sir. Control to Skydiver. I have Commander Straker for you. Waterman here, sir. Captain Waterman, I have some news. It concerns Colonel Foster. I'm afraid we must assume that he is in the hands of the alien. Did you read me, Captain? Yes. Sir, what happened? The research center was attacked. Colonel Foster is officially listed as missing. Now, that UFO is still in the area. I want Sky One maintained on full red alert, ready for an interception. Yes, sir. How can a thing like this happen? 
We work on the assumption that Colonel Foster is alive and will be rescued. Okay? All right, this is supposed to be an operational alert. Let's get to it. Maximum speed. Seal all water locks. Dark checks A through G. Control to skydiver. Remain on standby for emergency launch. Well, what are his chances? Oh, come on, Alec. Now tell me, I just want to know what you have in mind. When that UFO lifts off, the ground radar should fix its position immediately. And? We destroy it. Knowing that Paul Foster is almost certainly aboard. That's right. You just better hope I'm never in a position to press the button on you. How do you know he's even still alive, Alec? Look, Paul Foster's a highly trained, dedicated, courageous officer. But he knows the entire shadow setup. Yes, he's trained to resist interrogation, but what gentle means of persuasion will they use to crack him? No, Alec. If we destroy that UFO, Paul Foster loses his life, quick and clean. If we don't get it, God knows what will happen to him. Commander Straker, we have a radar trace. Do we have a fix? Yes, sir. Computer triangulates grid reference 124048. Speed. 800 knots accelerating. That must be it. Mm. Where's Skydiver? Yes, sir. Compute. Roger. Looks like we could intercept around here. Where's that readout? Mm, it looks good. Signal Sky One. Immediate launch. Yes, sir. Launch stations. Check boosters one, two, and three. <laughs> Clear one. One and two cleared. Lift up stations. Lift off minus five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Sky One to control. Airborne. We have you on positive track, Sky One. Set onboard computer for interception course. Check the UFO's airspeed. Yes, sir. One thousand five hundred knots. What's its rate of climb? Ten decimal four MPM. Maybe it's more damage than we thought. Let's hope so. Have it on radar. Range 29 miles. Closing. You must get it. It's a sitting duck. Have visual contact. Setting missile firing sequence. You've got a great crew there, Captain. It's been a privilege working with you these past weeks. Missile launch, minus 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, zero. How the 
blazes did he miss it? Get me, Lieutenant Ellis. Yes, sir. Excellent visibility. Positive radar track. Positive infrared homing signal. I thought that Captain Waterman had any emotion for a man he's been serving with for the past two months. Moon base for you, sir. Lieutenant Ellis, what are the chances of an interception by moon base? None at all, sir. The UFO's leaving Earth on an anti-lunar trajectory. Beyond your range. I'll keep tracking it and report any change. Roger and out. Prepare to receive Captain Waterman. Yes, sir. Open bulkhead. Range 26 million receding. Lieutenant. Can't be. Check it. And tell control. Well, just how long is this going to take? Is it or isn't it? It's pretty complex, sir. Times, courses, trajectories, the interplay of G-forces. Result sequence. Trajectory 042326 cyclic. Lunar G variable 7 over 5 decimal 4. Computer predicted power loss 70%. Orbit fading 0 decimal 4 GRT. Predict impact lunar grid reference B182. Moon base to control. Positive. Thank you, Lieutenant. So the UFO's headed for the moon? Yes. It doesn't have enough power to escape the lunar G-force. It must have been damaged. Oh, you were asking about Foster's chances of survival. I'd say they've just improved. They must be down to a million to one. <laughs> still maintaining its trajectory. Good. Just as long as it continues to head for the moon, do nothing. But if it manages to develop enough power to pull away from lunar gravity, launch your interceptors and destroy it. The astronauts are in position. They can be spaceborne in seconds. Fine. Now keep me informed, Lieutenant. Roger and out. Do we have a closer fix on where it's going to land? Yes. Uh... Grid reference 182084. Hmm. That's about 40 kilometers. I'm going out there. Tell Moon Mobile One to stand by. Yes, sir. We'll be in the area in eight minutes. Keep me informed of the UFO's progress. Yes, Lieutenant.
We're in position. Area confirmed. Two minutes from impact. Sixty seconds. There it is. It's going to crash. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Will you ask Jackson to come in? Yes, sir. Well, what's the situation? Well, I've just had a long conversation with Moon Base. The situation is a very difficult one. Colonel Foster's general physical condition is satisfactory, considering what he's just been through. But he's in an alien spacesuit. He's breathing liquid. Well, we can make the transfer back to normal breathing. Huh. Oh, come on now. You've done it before. Yes. With aliens, Alec. And none have survived more than a few hours. It's an extremely hazardous operation. We've by no means perfected the technique. There's another difficulty. Here at Shadow Headquarters, we have every facility. On moon base, the equipment is naturally more crude. Well, I'll be monitoring the operation by video link, if you'll excuse me. You're going to have to help me with the helmet. Listen, Alec. Paul Foster's in top physical shape. 
He's an expert skin diver, used to underwater pressure. You think that background may help? Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm sure it must be an advantage. He could be right. Strong lungs, good respiratory system. Sure. He'll pull through. Come on. We're all set here, sir. Right. Now, listen carefully. As I see it, the main problem will be panic when the helmet is removed. Colonel Foster has been breathing liquid for some hours now. Drugs will have been used to help his lungs adapt. Now, when we attempt to reverse to normal, the physical experience will be similar to drowning. Unless this moment is carefully controlled, the patient could go into convulsion and possibly choke. Let the colonel know the situation, right? If you can hear me, nod your head. We're going to remove your helmet. Try and maintain your rhythm of breathing. Whatever happens, don't panic. Do you understand? What is that? Two cc's of petrochol. It should help, I hope. Is the resuscitator ready? Yes, sir. All right, Lieutenant. Begin. Take hold of him. Now. Hold him down. He could rupture his lungs. Please. Hold him down. Stop him struggling. <laughs> Deeply. 
nice and relaxed. How's the breathing now? Better. Take it easy. How do you feel? Fine. What happened? You passed out for a few minutes in the sauna bath. A few minutes? Here, drink this. Tell me, Colonel, have you been uh, burning the candle at both ends recently? Well, there was a party last night. A sauna can be considered as a medical aid, but there's one golden rule. Never take one if you're feeling under the weather. Hmm? I should have told you. Well, there's nothing to worry about, Colonel. You're in good shape. You'll be in even better shape when you leave here. Tomorrow we'll get down to some real work. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me, starlight and dewdrops. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me, starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. Who's the voice? In the dream box. Dream box? That's Colonel Foster. He had a Lulu in there yesterday. Come on, Frank Ching. If all else fails, I'll remove that blab around your middle surgically. Gone are the cares of life's busy throng. Beautiful dreamer, come wake unto me. Beautiful dreamer, come wake unto me.